Hey YouTubers, Retro Junkie here, doing another segment or another video for the Genesis Archive segment. Um, this is going to be the third video in the series that I'm making, and this is going over probably one of my top five, top five Genesis games of all time. Um, game I spent a lot of time as a youth playing is Quack Shop. Uh, I'm sure this probably resonates or rings a bell with a lot of you guys too. So, I mean, quack shot. <laughs> um, where do I start with the game? I mean, again, this holds a special place in my heart from my youth. I This is a title I definitely would wake up during the summer, grab a bowl of cereal, come back, and start playing it instantly. And this was one of the first games I sat there and played where I actually had to save progress, and I had to write stuff down, and, and I had to remember things, and I had to go through, and I mean, it was it was a battle, but it was satisfying too. A uh, lot of great memories. So, a little bit about Quackshot. Um, Quackshot was actually launched in. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. This is embarrassing. Let me pull up my notes, guys. Sorry. In the meantime, enjoy everything that is Quackshot in its glory. So in any case, Quackshot came out in 91. Sorry about that, guys. I had to pull up my notes. I thought I had them up, but I didn't have them. But in any case, Quackshot came out in 91, and it's... One of those traditional side-scroller action uh, adventure games. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I mean, this is one of those titles where you actually had to keep track of what you did in the game, where you went. Um, I had a little logbook for each video game. One of those composite notebooks that you could get for a dollar at the dollar store. Um, but in any case... Um... <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just going back again. But in any case... Um, Kept track of a logbook with clues and and uh, different items that I found, where I found them, how I found them. Uh, I went to the point where I would copy down what certain people said in the game, just so you have a memory of what you got from where and what you had to do next. Because games like this, I mean, it's an adventure game, and they tell you where to go, but it's not like games like today where you have this logbook or a quest log built into the game engine where you can go through and say, oh, hey, okay, this is what you did, so this is what you need to do next. Um, it wasn't like that. So, our bees. Um, it is an adventure game. It can be, it can take a while to get through. I mean, I can't tell you exactly how many hours I put into it because I just played it as a kid during the summer. And when you're a kid, I mean, everything's hard. Um, but, ah. But it was long. I mean, there's a lot of details you had to go to. And already. It's already telling you you have to go somewhere else to get another item in the game. But since I'm here, I can go ahead and call the airplane and get out of here and go on to the next stage. Um, or go on to another stage where I have to unlock something else. If I recall properly, it was Transylvania, the first place where you have to go. That's so you can get the plunger shot that you use to... Uh, you used to climb up things. But again, I'm, this is the first time I launched this game since forever. Oh no! I could tell I wasn't going to make the jump. Um, so, I don't recall exactly where it was I needed to go or what it was I needed to do. I'm just going based off memory. And all my notes that I have pulled up... Um, it's just going over the historical concepts of the game. Uh, things I wanted to try to touch base on, based on my research for the 
title. Ah, Damn. I can't recall. Yep, I started from the beginning, which is lame. All because of the bat. All because of the bat and me wanting to be impatient. So I'm gonna let this bat pass because I don't want anything to do with him. So, kind of going back a little bit to the plunger. Um, right now I have the most basic one. It's yellow. It sucks. Um, keeps enemies stunned for a short amount of time. I can't do anything with it other than that. Uh, later on in the game, you do unlock different plungers um, and different guns. Uh, different plungers allow you to do different things. There's a red plunger. There's a green plunger. I want to say there's another one after green. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's there somewhere. Um, and the green plunger allowed, or the different plungers allow you to do di di different things. Like right now, I can remember that the red plunger allows me to shoot at a wall and climb up. The green plunger allows me to um, hang off of things. Uh, so if I shoot the plunger up, I can grab it, hang on, and use that as as a way to escape. Um, and now that I recall, I need the bubble gum. Uh, and now that I think about it, I think the bubble gum is made with Zach, Zach some gum, which is from Mexico. But again, these are all things that as a kid I would sit down and I would just log in my logbook. So, uh, logbook came in handy because you can't really save save in this game. So when you start, you have to start all over. But a lot of the time you do consume in this game is kind of from exploring and learning your way around anyway. So if you had the logbook, you could definitely get through things a lot faster. Fear my semi-automatic plunger. There's also a corn gun. I think the corn gun just outright get, like killed people. It was nasty. If I recall, it was a spread shot too. The bubble gun did something too. Don't ask me what. I can't recall. We'll get to that point eventually. Arg. Ice cream. I want it. So, this game does take a little bit of practice to get through, but I mean, as you could hear, I mean, they definitely... Oh, I didn't jump. Um, they put a lot of work into the graphics, into the artwork. Um, into the soundtrack for sure too and the sound effects and i mean to be somewhat fair to this was a disney game i mean it was developed by other companies and licensed by sega but it's a disney game through and through so they kind of gave this game a nice healthy budget to kind of work with and work off of which definitely helps the game making process quite a bit and it shows. It definitely shows. I mean, every game that Disney made for the Genesis, with the exception of, I think, one or two, were definitely showstoppers. Um, one of my most memorable second to Quackshot from Disney was Mickey's Castle of Illusion. Um, not Castle of Illusion. World of Illusion, excuse me. Um, that was the multiplayer game that where you could go through as Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck, and you had the capes, and you went through, and... Uh, it was just going on this adventure, and it was just a great game. Uh, so now he wants me to return to Duckburg. I really need to start another logbook and go through this, because I refuse to go to GameFAQ. Takes away from the joy in the game. Now that I have this, I can go back to Mexico! Uh, 
I mean, so I'm not trying to make this too long, but you guys get the idea. Um, great little adventure game. Came out in the early 90s. Got a, a lot of great reviews and a lot of great feedback for its gameplay, for its difficulty, for its storyline, for its mechanics, for its soundtrack, for its graphics. I mean, look at the animations in the background as well. They put work, they put detail into this, they put thought. Um, this was well directed, this was well put together. Ooh, I want that chicken. And for the most part, I can't think of anyone that would complain this about this game other than it being too hard. Um, that's a little close-minded of me, but I mean, I don't do that for a lot of titles. I will do that for this one. And that's because it is just a, one of those titles. So, this is the third segment. Or a third video of this segment, sorry. I need to learn my terminology. And even that might not be correct, but that's just what I'm going with for for now. For the Genesis Archive. Um, this kind of, I want to say games like this started to pave the way and evolve the action side-scrolling genre for titles like Tomb Raider. Titles like Spyro the Dragon. Um where there was definitely forethought placed into this game. There was planning. There was very good storytelling. Um, and there's an arc to it that for the Genesis was not pushing the limits of it in the aspect of what the Genesis was physically capable of, but definitely made it easier to continue to evolve the genre for what it is. That was too high. Definitely takes some uh, coordination to go through some of these puzzles. Arg. I was just off by a hair. There we go. Ooh. I only got one more hit left, but I think I'm at the end. Yes, I am. What Goofy's doing in here, I have no idea. But in any case, so that's it for Quackshot for now. Um, if I get more interest, I will definitely do more with Quackshot. I love this game. I will definitely continue talking about it and continue to share with it. Um, I didn't even... Oh, yep. That's where I got the thing. See? So now I can climb. Um, Haha. -ha. In any case, so that's, like I said, that's where we stand. Um, sorry, I got ADD. I was tadly excited that I got this guy again. But in any case, um, that's it for Quackshot, guys. Um, again, if you want to see or hear more, comment, let me know, or shoot me a message. I will gladly do more about this game. And uh, I'll even go through and do playthrough uh videos of it for those that don't feel like playing it but want to watch and want to see what the story is about and kind of get some concepts um you'll have to be a little bit patient with me because i will be dying a lot but that's besides the point um but and if you don't want to see more but you'd like what you saw or you want to see more from me about other titles please comment like share subscribe uh, let me know I'm doing a good job. If I'm not, let me know how I can improve. Uh, again, you know, I'm just starting this out, so I think I'm getting a little bit more... Ah, I think I'm getting the hang of it more, but um, 
I'm always looking for feedback. So in any case, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you around.